Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use OptiScaler XCSS frame generation and XCSS low latency mode in Stellar Blade. I'll be running its demo on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Now the demo supports FSR 3.1, both upscaling and frame generation but the upscaler is not decoupled from frame gen. We cannot combine DLSS upscaler with FSR frame gen. In the demo, if you enable FSR frame generation, it barely improves the performance, just increases the FPS count. I am surprised that the developers still haven't fixed this issue. I hope this problem is not present even in the full version of the game. Anyways, if you want to use FSR frame generation with DLSS upscaler, again you can use OptiScaler mod. But I would recommend using XCSS frame gen as its latency is lower than that of FSR frame gen. Just download the latest test build of OptiScaler mod version 0.9 preview 2 available on OptiScaler's Discord server. I'll give its link in the description. Click on the dot 7z link here. The game comes with an older version of DLSS 4. I'll manually update it to the latest version that is 310.4.0. If you override DLSS upscaler via NVIDIA app, DLSS will be updated to version 310.3.0. You can download the latest version of DLSS Upscaler from Tech Power of website. Click on download. Click on any of these servers, the download will start. In order to use OptiScaler XCSS frame generation in this game, we need to disable dilated motion vectors. Just need to add these lines to the game's engine.ini file. Copy the lines. I'll provide them in the description of the video. Just open C drive, users folder. Open the folder that has the same name as your PC's username. Open app data folder. If this folder is not visible on your PC, click on view. Go to show. Check the setting hidden items. Open local folder. Here look for SP folder. There it is. Open saved folder, config folder, windows no editor folder, engine.ini file. Scroll down to the end and add the lines paste click on file save close i'll be verifying dlss subscalar details using dlss debug overlay will activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by emos copy the lines create a new text file anyway on your pc name it anything you want i'll just name it as overlay change the extension from .txt to .reg hit enter yes Select the file, right click, open with notepad, paste the lines here, file, save, close and run this registry file. This will activate DLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable it, just replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Select the file, right click, open, yes, ok. Now I'll manually update the in-game DLSS upscaler. Open DLSS upscaler's archive file that you downloaded earlier. Copy this DLL file nvngx underscore DLSS. Open the game's install directory. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open SP folder, plugins folder, runtime folder, NVIDIA, streamline, binaries, third party, win64. Replace the older version of DLSS Subscaler with the latest one. Replace. Highlight the file. There you go. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Open its archive file. And just copy the highlighted files. First we have OptiScaler files. XCSS files. Don't need the DirectX 11 version. Fake NV API files. They will replace the in-game reflex implementation with XCSS low latency mode. AMD Fidelity FX dx12 files upscaler frame gen legacy file copy open the games install directory open sp folder binaries folder win64 folder paste everything here replace change the name of optiscaler.dll file to dxgi.dll we are done Enabling hardware x related GPU scheduling setting is not a mandatory requirement for using Intel's XCSS frame generation, but if you have an RTX GPU, it's recommended to enable this setting. Right click anywhere on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, 
click on advanced graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling setting from here if your monitor supports vr enable the setting as well now I'll enable vsync from nvidia control panel click on manage 3d settings click on program settings from this drop down bar select stellar blade scroll down to the end enable vsync from here my monitor is gsync compatible i'll enable the corresponding settings for it click on setup gsync and enable the following settings enable gsync gsync compatible enable for full screen mode enable settings for the selected display model i'll also enable gsync compatible indicator this step is optional click on display and check this setting gsync compatible indicator now i'll be using afterburner and rtss to show you the performance metrics just open rtss settings click on setup here scroll down to the end make sure it's enable frame rate limiter setting is disabled also disable inject nvidia reflex latency marker setting and check this setting use microsoft d2's api hooking okay should not interfere with optiscalar frame generation still it's recommended to disable rtss when using optiscalar frame generation play display settings display mode set to borderless windowed required for using xcss frame generation full hd resolution vsync off no fps cap applied motion blur camera shake disable film grain chromatic abrasion set to off graphics section upscaler dlss4 in-game sharpness level set to nil if you want to increase or decrease the in-game sharpness just use optiscalar mode Upscaler preset set to quality. No access to DLSS frame generation on RTX 2070 Super. Reflex on. Most of the settings set to high. I have disabled post processing effects like depth of field, chromatic abrasion, and film grain. Motion blur set to nil. Very important. Accessibility section. From this section, just disable motion blur, set it to nil. Yeah, we are in. Just open OptiScale menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. From this drop down bar, make sure DLSS upscaler is selected. Input in game DLSS, TXGI is spoofing off. Check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. DLSS auto exposure setting is off. Enable it via OptiScale mode. Check the setting auto exposure. Under init flag section, this setting helps in reducing ghosting around the objects in the environment. Also fixes the texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects. I'll also enable OptiScaler's performance overlay expand FPS overlay section. Check this setting FPS overlay enabled. Full plus graph. No frame generation selected. Save I and I close. Show you the base game performance first. Okay, render preset is set to J. My bad. I'll just change it to K. Check this setting render presets override under DLSS settings. Click on the drop down bar next to override preset and select preset K from here. Click on apply changes. Now if you want to increase the in-game sharpness, just check this setting override under sharpness section. Move the slider to the right. I'll set the value to 0 0.500. If you want to decrease the sharpness level, move the slider to the left. Up to you. Save I and I close. There is a character. Yeah, here FPS is around 110. Game is running very smoothly. This game uses Unreal Engine 4. It's very nicely optimized. Barely any stuttering exists. Good performance even without enabling frame generation. My monitor supports up to 240 Hz refresh rate. So I'll use frame generation to make the best use of it. Take out this thing. Use my meter skill. Oh my god. Whack this thing. Should have dodged that attack, my bad. Yeah, FPS always stayed above 100, that's really good to see. Image quality is looking very clean, sharp, not observing any ghosting around our character model. Now I'll show you how to enable XCSS frame generation. Just open OptiScaler menu, click on the drop down bar next to FG source and select DLSSG via streamline as the option. The game supports DLSS frame generation and a streamlined version newer than version 2. So this option will work just fine. We won't be required to deal with hard fix. 
click on the drop down bar next to fg output and select xcfg as the option if for some reason you want to use fsr frame generation select fsr fg i'll stick with xcfg click on save INI close restart the game play after restarting the game open graphics settings from here you need to enable dlss frame generation yeah the setting got unlocked just set it to two times it will automatically enable reflex there's a character now open optiscalar menu check this setting active under frame generation xcfg current streamline fg state it's on frame time graph of optiscalar it became thick xcss fg is definitely working you can even verify it via debug view you will see these purple sidebars these sidebars won't appear at all if xcss frame generation is not working i'll also use xcss inspect app to verify the status of xcss features minimize the game run xcss inspect app click on show all processes look for stellar blade the game which is running in the background double click xcss frame generation context yeah, it's running xcss low latency mode it's running as well can see the valid frames on the graph back to the game yeah i can observe the added amount of smoothness wow it's so smooth fps increased to around 150 latency it's not a problem minor increase in latency base fps is already on the higher side okay i'll engage in combat game's hurt is not flickering not observing any artifacts around our character model character shadow it's not flickering as well during fast visual motion see shadow is looking sharp smoothing effect is very consistent take out this thing use my beta skill oh my god zapped it <laughs> Very impressive results produced by XCSS frame generation in this game. Highly recommend it to use it, especially if you have an RTX 20 or 30 series GPU. People who have an RTX 40 or 50 series GPU can simply use DLSS frame generation. The game even supports DLSS multi frame generation, but that only works on RTX 50 series GPU. Before ending the video, I'll show you how to disable DLSS debug overlay. Just need to edit the overlay.reg file that we created earlier. Open it using notepad. Replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. Open. Click on yes, ok. That's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.